I'm Jill Rett from June Taylor. Brighten up your day with these cute little mug mats using June Taylor's inspirational mug mat patterns and pre-printed cotton fabric sheets. Mug mats come with seven different patterns that are all really easy to make and seven printed statements on 100% cotton. This cotton can be washed and ironed just like your quilting cottons can. So you use the patterns to make these adorable little mug mats. There's one for each day of the week, or you can give them as gifts to your friends. This particular design happens to be uplifting. It has great sayings to start your day out on a positive note. We also have the spiritual sayings. For those of you who have friends who are quilters or sewers, this is called Quilty Fun, and it has some really cute expressions that you might want to use to start your day. And we haven't forgotten about you dog lovers. We have something called Dog Days, something cute for each day of the week. And of course, for your cat lovers, we have Daily Muse. Let me show you how to quilt up one of these little mug mats. We're gonna highlight the pinwheel mug mat today. So open your instructions to this particular design. Gather your fabrics. They can either be coordinating fabrics or you can pull from your stash. Then you're going to get out your mug mat statements and you're going to cut out the appropriate one. In this case, we're going to be using the one in the bottom right hand corner, four and a half by three and a half. So I've got that particular statement cut out. Referring to our directions, we're then going to cut all of our fabrics according to what it tells us to do. So get those all cut and in place, and now we're ready to sew. Mug mat assembly is like sewing a small quilt block. In this case, we start with our statement block, right sides together, take rectangle B, and put that on top, sew in a quarter inch seam allowance, the other rectangle on the bottom, and sew in a quarter inch seam allowance. I've got that done here. You can see my seam allowances. I flip this open, this open, and I'm gonna press my seam allowance open with the seam toward the darker side. To start our pinwheel block, take the smaller set of triangles, right sides together, and sew in a quarter inch seam allowance and press open. That will look like this. Then take your larger triangle, right sides together, sew in a quarter inch seam allowance, press that open, and that will get you one of four blocks that look like this. If you assemble these four blocks together that you've made, you will get your pinwheel block looking like this. Next, we're going to sew our pinwheel block to our statement block, right sides together, and we're going to add the top and the bottom, right sides together. When all that sewing is done, you will have your completed pieced mug mat top. With your mug mat top done, you're going to cut a piece of batting 9 by 11 to go behind it, and you're also going to cut your backing to go behind that. Now you can secure these three layers together with pins, or you can use June Taylor's quilt basting spray to do that very quickly. Once your layers are all put together, you can do your quilting. You can stitch in the ditch, or even do some additional quilting if you so desire. When your quilting is done, Trim around all four sides so your edges are even, and add your binding. If you're not sure how to do your binding, refer to the instructions under Quilt Binding, and we'll refer you to a website that will show you easy instructions on how to bind. And here's your completed mug mat. We've now completed all seven of these for our five different themes of mug mats. So fun and easy, we've used our stash for some, some we bought some fabrics for, Great for gift ideas. Either keep them for yourself, give them away as gifts to your friends, teacher gifts, or for birthday, for your book club. It's the perfect little project to do in no time, and people love receiving these mug mats. We can't wait to see what you're going to make.